sus amigos. Las pistas de Blue, solo en Pluto TV. El amor se puede medir en todo el lado. Y yo también quiero decir que los desechamos para tu familia. Exactamente.
Another class on Thursday and Jueves, almost Friday, almost Friday. So, uh, welcome everybody. We hope, uh, I hope we can have a good class, a very interesting one. So, let's see, uh, let's check the audio. A ver si pues se escucha el audio, no como ayer que tenemos sí, dificultades. Todo bien. Ok, thank you, Juan. Good evening. Good evening. Ok, thank you for confirming that uh, the audio is working well. Sometimes I know that this is kind of difficult. I know. So, um, let me check this. Okay, Juan, how was your day? Everything in order? Everything okay? Good? Every Everything good with your day, Juan? No yes, problem. everything. No problem. Okay, very nice. All blue. All, everything blue. Uh, Juan, what time do you finish your job? At five o'clock, at six, at four. Five o'clock. Okay. And how much time do you do you take to travel from your job to your house? One hour. Yes. Thirty minutes. Uh, an hour. Two one hours. One two hour. One two hour. One or two hour depends on the traffic, right? In the traffic. Yes. Okay. So I know uh, it is kind of difficult sometimes when we live like kind of close a veces se vive un poco cerca so it's not so far but the traffic complicates everything right um, yes. and uh, some the period of time that it is like heavier sometimes it's the traffic right and that's it okay yes. and what time do you start at 8 uh, a.m at 7 no, uh, five o'clock. Okay, but no, what time do you begin to work? Start to work? Oh, hey. And to uh, eight. A.M., yes. Okay, well, from eight to five, okay. Sounds, yes. really, sounds really good. Okay, thank you, Juan. Then here lay, we have some other like Brenda, Noel, Flor, Odali, Cesar, Fernando, Gisela, Kevin, Fatima, Jose. Some of them are moving. Some of them are on the public transportation or maybe they are on their car. But uh, let's listen to some other comments. Uh, Fatima, good evening. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. Everything good. okay? Pretty. Okay. okay, I like okay. to hear that. Excellent. And okay. here we have also Daniela. Okay, Carly. I'm sorry. Enjoy your meal. Provecho. Thank you. 
Thank you. I know. <laughs> it's the uh, best time of, uh, of all day. Go ahead, no problem. I know sometimes we are uh, tired, estamos cansados. We are hungry, hambriento. And we are sleepy. Tenemos a veces hasta sueño. And Confirmo. that <laughs> mix, yeah, that combination is terrible. I know it. I know it. But I will try, uh, well, I will try that this class can be like kind of past. Okay, my friends. We're going to start. Burn. With your time flies, teacher. Ah, I would like to, to have that power. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we have uh, class number six. And uh, the topic is industry vocabulary. Okay, so we're going to talk about uh, some, we're going to study uh, some vocabulary that it's related to the factories, to the industry, some, some companies that they manufactures, ma manufacture uh, objects, materials, or products, okay? This is the class number six. It means that we have 14 classes left, okay? 14 classes left, 14 uh, classes, okay, okay? So it sounds like really good, okay? Let's um, have a review of a yesterday class. You remember we were talking about personal and personal. Um, do you remember, Fatima, what is personal and what is personal? Do you know the difference? Or do you remember the difference, Fatima? Mm, no recuerdo muy bien, teacher, pero... Um, Let's try. Personal. Era plural y personal eh, singular. Ok, ok. Personal plural, yes. Yes, and personal singular. Ok, very good point. Carly, yeah. what about you? We are getting closer. I have to add some information. I think uh, personal is uh, to prefer, uh, it prefers to belonging. Mm -hmm. That's personal. And the other uh, to workers or uh, company. Mm -hmm. Employees, that's it, yes. The personal sometimes is for teams, for algunos equipos, de hecho, uh, teamwork. Okay, so, well, uh, there's no problem with this. Okay, so personal for employees, personal, singular, that it's for belongings, para pertenencias, okay? And also, let me show you this, uh, the vocabulary of tonight. Ways to say difficult. Forma de decir que algo está difícil, que está complicado, uh, que está muy que, duro. So, challenging. Challenging es, al, es algo difícil, complicado, pero se refiere como un reto. Ok, challenging, algo retador. Challenge, challenge significa reto. Um, I don't know if you remember a couple of years ago, there was a challenge, a bucket challenge. Era un, un reto de una cubeta de abuelada con hielo. And the artist had to, to put it down over their hair, como que ponérsela sobre la cabeza y, y echarse la verdad. And then they had to tag somebody else. Y tenían que etiquetar a alguien más para que lo hiciera. So, there are different types of challenge. And, but in this case, challenging es algo que, que, que te reta, ¿verdad? Como retador. Tough. Como, do you remember the candies toffees? ¿Te recuerdan de, lo, de los dulces toffees que eran muy buenos? But toffees, but without is tough. Tough, okay? Tough es difícil, okay? Hard, it's a synonym also. It's difficult, hard, the same. Then here we have complicated. Complicated is more formal and it is like related to something that it's getting work. Algo que se está como empeorando. Okay, so that's complicated. Tricky. Tricky is difficult, but also it means something that it is confusing. Okay, confusing. For example, mathematics exercises are tricky and there are some riddles. Riddles son acertijos, they are tricky. And a lot of things. 
that you can fail, donde pueden fallar. Even exams are tricky. Los exámenes a veces son como eh, difíciles, pero donde ustedes pueden fallar, porque trick significa truco. O sea, tricky es como tramposo, pero también difícil. ¿okay? And demanding. Demanding is um, a very formal word to say difficult. Es una, forma, una palabra muy eh, formal. And here we have effortful. Okay. Effortful, que es como pues súper, algo que requiere mucho esfuerzo. Okay. Challenging, tough. Cuando vean eh, la G y la H, el sonido va a ser como F. Love. Love significa risa, carcajada. So, love, tough. ¿Ok? Son los, como les he mencionado antes, los patrones comunes. Ok, so that's it. Uh, challenging, tough, hard, arch, complicated. You can say complicated, but it is like more common, more American to say complicated, como una canción de Brian Levine. Uh, tricky, demanding, effortful. Ok, I'm going to call you uh, one by one and please uh, read one of these uh, phrases, vocabulary, one of these words in the vocabulary. Okay, let's start with Abel Edenilson. I don't know if you are there, Abel. Okay, ya estaba leyendo aquí el mensaje que dice que no va a poder estar. Okay, Alexandra is moving. Uh, Brenda, I guess, I don't know if Brenda is here. Maybe not, okay. What about Cesar? Hi, teacher. Hello, Cesar. Okay, what is your word? Uh, <clears throat> it's demanding. Okay, demanding. Good. Uh, Douglas, what about Douglas? Good evening. Good evening. I'm here. Okay, Douglas, one word. Complicated. Okay, complicated. Complicated. Thank you. Elia, are you there, Elia? Hello. Hello. Um, tricky. Tricky. Okay, nice. Fatima. Hello, teacher. Oh, Fatima. Complicated. Complicated, good. Fernando? I'm here. Okay, Fernando. Complicated. Thank you. Flor de Maria. Okay. Hello, teacher. Hello. Demanding. Demanding. Thank you. Gisela is moving. Jose Mauricio as well is moving. Juancito. Okay, Juan. Uh, hi, teacher. Hearts. Uh, Hearts. Okay, nice. Julissa. Present, teacher. Hello, Julie. Okay. It's complicated. Complicated. Thank you. Carly. Okay, Carly. Hi there. Present. Uh, tough. Tough, good. Small toffee. Laura. Okay. Uh, Marvin, are you there? Hi. Good night. Hello. Um, demanding. Demanding. Okay, nice. Uh, Janet. Present teacher. Hello. Thank you. Odalis. No, Odalis. Okay. Oscar. Hello, teacher. Okay, Odalis. Challenge. Well, challenging. Challenging. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Oscar. Okay, by now we don't have Oscar. Rosa del Carmen. Okay, Kevin. Vasquez. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay, complicated. Nice. And Liliana. No, Liliana. Okay, Mario. Okay, I don't know. Mario is not here. Commonly, he is on time. Noé, Vladimir. Present. Her. Okay. 
en Adriana Raquel. Nice. Okay. We're going to start uh, with this and thank you for all your for all your answers. Remember that we were studying this. We were talking about superlative adjectives. Remember that um, we have two types of adjectives, short and long. Adjetivos que son cortos y adjetivos que son largos. So, en este caso, cuando son así, normalmente tenemos que... ¿Qué se dice esta imagen? Uh -huh. Adjectives for describing, for description. Uh -huh. Comparatives to compare to objects, to places, to situations, or to people. In the case of superlative is to establish a high level of something. For example, imagine you know the angriest boss in your life. Que conozcan al jefe más enojado o enojada que, ten, que, que tengan. I know you remember someone. I know. And we also have the worst place in El Salvador. Um, in El Salvador, there are a lot of pupuserias, but always we, well, or commonly we know the worst place. Conocemos el peor lugar para comprar pupusas, to buy pupusas. And a Salvadorian never comes back. Un salvadoreño no regresa. If the pupusas are not delicious, we don't come back, definitely. We know cheapest places. Conocemos los lugares más baratos. Eh, talking about... Uh, like destruction, okay, or market, supermarkets, and so on. Yeah, and that's the way we can establish like a high level talking about superlative. So we already know this. Ya conocemos esto, no hay ningún problema. Then here we have this. Okay, I'm sorry. Just give me a second okay let's talk about this this is not like a this is not uh like a speaking activity indeed but it is like a short question how often si quieren anoten eso es lo que no conocen esta palabra o esta frase how often significa que tan a menudo Cuán a menudo o qué tan seguido. How often. The T is silent. La T es silenciosa, así que no se pronuncia. How often, no how often. So, how often do you receive seminars or workshops? ¿Qué tan a menudo reciben seminarios o talleres? Workshops are talleres. Okay? You can talk once in a week. Pueden decir una vez a la semana, once, once significa una vez, no es once, once, una vez, twice, dos veces, three times, tres veces, también podemos decir twice, pero esto es más informal, so you can talk about once or twice, miren, once a week, or you can say once a month, or you can nice. say once a year, okay, so that's it. We can talk about this. You tell me how often do you receive seminars or workshops? Okay. And let's start with Flor. Okay. What about you, Flor? How often? Uh, once a month. Uh, once a year. Once a year. Once a year. Okay. That's it. Thank you. What about Juan? And then Carly. Okay. How often? Uh, one or two times time year a year once or two times a year mm -hmm. thank you carly yes. and then marvin okay nice uh, once a year teacher okay good uh marvin and then julissa hardly ever hardly ever casi nunca okay uh, i don't know sometimes it it is not that good right because we need Seminars or workshops that are useful, que son realmente de, de utilidad. Because there are uh, times in which we have a lot of seminars, but we can't apply 
what the, the information we, we, we receive, right? Yeah, maybe we spend time. And Julissa and Kevin. Twice a week. Thank you. Twice a week. Okay. Yes. Very often. Very often. Okay. <laughs> Kevin and Janet. Okay, maybe it's not ready. Uh, Kevin is not ready. Uh, Janet and then Odalis. Okay, you need time. Uh, let's listen to Odalis and then Noe. Odalis? Uh, yes. Uh... Once a month. Once a month, thank you. What about Noé and then Fatima? Twice a month. Twice a month, okay, kind of often, algo seguido. Fatima and then Laura. Once a month. Okay, Laura and then Elia. Uh, two times a month. Two times a month. Okay, thank you. Um, Elia and then Brenda. Um, three times a year. Okay, three times a year. Uh, Brenda and then we go with Fernando. Okay, uh, Brenda is not. Okay, Once Brenda. a month. Mm, perfect. Fernando and then Cesar. Once a month. Mm -hmm. Nice. Cesar and then Rosa. Twice a month. Twice a month, kind of often. Rosa and then Douglas. Twice a year. Yes. Twice a year, thank you. Douglas and then Mario. Okay, Mario, I don't know if you're ready. Once, twice, three times. How often three do you times receive? A year, teacher. Okay, three times a year. So it can be divided into every th three months, every four months every two months, there are different forms to express this, but it is important to, how to say once or one time, twice or two times, three times or thrice. Entonces, estas ya son frases que nos hacen ver como que manejamos más el inglés, okay? How often do you go to the cinema? Mm, once a month, okay? One example, how often do you eat hamburgers? Mm, twice a month, okay, or once a week, we can use these phrases and it is very useful, así que eh, pendiente siempre con la pronunciación, ¿verdad? Once, twice, three times, o podemos decir twice. Um, como dice la canción de Another Day in the Paradise, dice mm -hmm. think twice, okay, piensa dos veces. We're, uh, there's another day for you in the paradise, algo así dice, okay? Igual, uh, two times, una canción de los doors, the doors que dice, love me two times. And a lot of uh, songs that we can use this. Mm, okay. Check this. Try to remember one or two verbs from here. I'm going to give you six seconds. Six segundos, veamos. What verbs can we remember from this picture? Okay. Let's listen to some of you. Fatima and then Juan. One verb or two verbs. You can do it. Become a gob. Okay. Uh, Juan and Flor. Okay, teacher. Uh, bit. Found, come. Nine, yes, very, okay. very nice. Flor, and then we have Janet. Uh, Gwen, found, beat. Mm -hmm. Good one. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Janet, you go, okay. and then, okay, and then Laura. Left. Okay, Laura, what about you? Gwen, come. Okay, thank you. Yes, thou had a uh, known, bent, did, soon, uh, become, bought, beat, put, 
all of them are irregular verbs. Ninguno de esos tiene ed al final. So that's why they are irregular verbs in past, in simple past or in past participle. Okay. So uh, for this, I'm going to show you another list that I consider really, really important. There is a list that we already studied. For instance, here we have this, right? This list, uh, irregular regular verbs and irregular verbs. But also we have some other verbs that are really useful, que son bastante útiles. For instance, okay, thanks Gisela, very nice. And uh, look at this. In here, we have 101 verbs, okay? So in this case, we have present tense and past tense, o sea, presente y pasado, okay? And uh, verb B, que tanto salen los memes, verb B, it's divided in present. En presente lo tenemos como am, uh, is, y también lo tenemos como are. So, um, en pasado es was it were. Let's notice something. Look. Sing es cantar, como el nombre de una película. Sing, sang. Estos son irregulares. Todos son irregulares. Why are we studying irregular verbs? Because they are kind of complicated. They are demanding in comparison to regular verbs. Porque los regulares solo le agregamos ed and they are in simple past or past participle. Easy peasy. Easy as one, two, three. But in comparison to irregular verbs, we have to memorize uh, the writing, la escritura, and the pronunciation and also the meaning. Let's see. Uh, tell me one that calls your attention. Dígame uno que le llama la atención de todo lo que tenemos acá. Okay, we go with Rosa and then Noé. One that calls your attention, Rosa. And then we go with Noé. Okay, Rosa is not available. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, in present and also in past. Okay. Vamos con Noé and then Odalis. Okay, Noé, can you mention one verb in present and also in past. Ok, eh, yo lo escucho, bueno, lo leo en mi trabajo. <laughs> eh, understand y eh, understood. Understood. Mm -hmm. Ok, understood. On, yes. Siempre había sabido understand y a veces me escriben understood, no sabía. Ah, understood, entendido, ah. comprendido, I'm understood. Okay. Uh, for example, you are chatting, si están chateando, por ejemplo, mm -hmm. entonces cuando le, le dice, mm, ¿todo bien? Ah, entonces todo, la gente escribe, noted, anotado, mm -hmm. eh, understood, ok, o oh, got it. Yeah. Got it, ok, entendido, okay. ya lo captamos y todo eso. Mm -hmm. So understood, it's, a, it's another uh, Form the verb. Y si se dan cuenta, todos están en pasado. Esto es lo que acabo de escribir también. Ok, thank you. What about Juan and then César? Uh, throw through. Okay. 96. 96. 96. Throw and through. 96. Okay. Throw, throw tirar. and through. Through. Mm -hmm. That's it. Excellent. Okay, César and Mario. 81. Mm -hmm. Spin. Okay. Spin. Mm -hmm. Spin. Girar. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mario and Janet. 74. Sink. 74. And sank. Okay. Uh, sink. Sank. Uh -huh. Y mira este. Sit. Sat. Sink. Sank. Ya ven sink. que hay un patrón. There is a pattern in there. Cuando sink, hay con sank. I. Uh -huh. sink, sink. Bien raro, ¿verdad? Sing, sang, ¿verdad? Sing, sang, sit, sat. Uh -huh. Es lo que les digo que hay, a veces hay un patrón que pues, se repite en it is easier. No se cumple siempre porque mira aquí, shine, shone. Uh -huh. O aquí ve que es hit, hit. 
bien raro, no cambia, but it is irregular. Ok, Janet, and then we go with Laura. Mint, mint. La what 50, 54. 54, ok, ok, mint, mint. Ok, Laura, what about you? And then Flor. Um, 51. 51. Like, y lit. Lit. Thank you. Uh, Gisela and Carly. Uh, I buy your teacher. Oh, ah, Flor, I'm sorry. Yes, Flor uh, and Gisela. Sorry. Uh, number one, B was where? Okay, good one. Gisela and Carly. Uh, 81. 81. Okay. Spin span. Thank you. Teacher. 88. Yes. Uh -huh. Sweet. And the other, how to how do you pronounce? Thirty-eight. No, no. eighty-eight. Ah, uh, eighty-eight. Sweep, swept. Swept. Mm -hmm. Swept. Okay, thank you. Uh, Fatima, and then Elia. Mm, no. Okay. Three. Maybe. We... Three. Can you repeat it, please, Fatima? B. Okay, maybe we Three. have... Begin, began. Began, ajá, comenzar. Uh -huh, comenzar, thank you. Elia, are you there? And then Julissa. Feel, feel fit. Okay, and good, thank you. And Julissa. Okay, and now here we have this. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. Que okay. me falla esta cosa. Eh, Hong Hong. No sé qué se creo que es. Okay. Yes, that's it. Thank you. I guess Hong Hong. Eh, tenemos algunas palabras, por ejemplo, shoot, verdad, es disparar. Y shot es disparaba, pero también es disparo. Y también se le llama shot de tequila, verdad, tequila shot. Es esa otra, es otro que creo que algunos de ustedes conocen. De ustedes conocen. En... Juancito, Juancito. Ah, Juancito. Ah, ya estamos quemando a Juancito. Y Shooter. Shooter es el que la per una persona que gatillero. Ah, el que hace el disparo. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, okay. Sniper. El disparador, el sniper. Uh, sniper es francotirador, ya. Yeah, it's a long sí. distance. Uh -huh. So that's it. But yes. Pero el que hace el disparo, el shooter. Ah, definitely it is, yes. Okay. And en este caso tenemos otro que posiblemente ustedes no conozcan, o puede que sí, ¿verdad? Shot significa cerrar, ¿verdad? Y tenemos una palabra que es fuerte, ¿verdad? Cuando decimos eh, shut up, que es cállate, es muy petada. Mejor decimos silence, ¿ok? Entonces shut significa cerrar, es como que cierra la boca. Entonces es que una cuestión... Es un idiomatic expression, but it is really, really informal. And the cual? Which one? This so, one. Cuando te dicen be quiet. Be ah, quiet. Be quiet. It, that's another very formal and polite. Como que se te quieto, relax. Okay, so that's it. Be quiet. It's another. Yes. And take it easy. Take it easy. Hold your horses. Calm down. Mm -hmm, that's it. Okay, uh, 101 verbs. I'm pretty sure that you know at least 70 of them. Creo que ustedes conocen al menos 70 de esos, or 60 of, of this list. Because there are a lot of verbs that you already know because they are easy. For example, sit, que sentarse, spend, speed, speak, okay, stand, what, uh, think, tell, teach, take. Uh, there are a lot of verbs, definitely. You know, light, land, leave, go, give. But there are a certain quantity of these verbs that maybe you are learning, you have to learn them, or you don't know. It. You know, you don't know them. Pero ya vamos a continuar con esto. So, and as we were talking about simple past verbs, here we have a worksheet. Okay, so in this case, um, we have 
regular verbs. Para los verbos regulares tengo una imagen súper importante que se los voy a enviar por un momento. Es this. Estamos claros. We are clear. For irregular verbs, we have to memorize them. All of them. Hay que memorizar. There's no escape from this. No hay escape. I'm so sorry. Hay que aprendérselos. Ok. La, como las tablas de multiplicar. Ok. Aunque algunos no sé si se les saben. But anyway. Por lo menos conocemos las que son más prácticas. Talking about regular verbs, we have three cases. Tenemos tres casos. Hablando de los verbos regulares. ¿Cuáles son esos tres casos? Ok. We already know that for regular verbs, we have to add ed. Tenemos que agregarle la e y la d a los regulares. We don't have problem with that. Ok. Easy. But related to the pronunciation, we have some... We may have some difficulties. For example, we have three cases. Tenemos tres casos. First case, let me show you this. Okay. El primer caso es el siguiente. The pronunciation of I, D. La pronunciación de la I y la D cuando termina, por ejemplo, si un verbo irregular, lo que es termina en T o en D, como es eh, regular, obviamente le vamos a agregar la E y la D, termina en T. Ejemplo, want, termina en T, hate, termina en T, decide, termina en D, T y D. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? What are we going to do? Los verbos que terminen con T y D y le agregamos ED, la pronunciación va a ser ID. Example. Vamos a ver acá. No. La pronunciación va a ser ID. Ejemplo. Want, wanted. Rent, rented. Rest, rested. ¿Ok? Wait, waited o waited. Count, counted. Hate, hated. Decide, decided. ¿Ok? Eh, pretend, pretended. O sea que vamos a utilizar la letra I y la letra D para finalizar este verbo. ¿Ok? So that's it. Esto es... Sorry. El... Yes, go ahead, Juancito. I o E. E D o I D. No, se escribe E D. Y en se pronuncia I D. Exacto, en todos los verbos, ah, okay. all of the verbs, si te das cuenta, todos estos verbos sí. tienen E D, ¿verdad? Porque son regulares. Claro. Los irregulares ya acabamos de ver este medio relajo. Mira todo esto. Sí. Tienen E D, ¿verdad? De igual manera, estos tienen E D. Todos tienen E D. Pero hay tres casos. El primer caso, el que estamos mencionando, es este. Se pronuncia con ID. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver cuántos... Eh... Elige uno, Juancito. De ahí vamos con Carly. Lo, me lo dices en presente y también en pasado. Activate the microphone, Juan. Please. Que estás hablando con tu conciencia ahí. ¿eh? Okay. Yes. <risa> nice. Expect. Expected. Yeah, easy peasy. Fácil. Easy. Yes, ok. Carly and Gisela. Wait, waited. Ok, I don't know. No sé qué hice con mi vida en este momento. I'm so no sorry. Menos. No, sé que, no, no, no sé qué estoy haciendo con mi vida. Eso. Yo menos. Hoy sí, hoy sí, ya regresé al carril. Ya. Ya. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gisela and then Fatima. Present, present. Good. Uh, mm -hmm. Fatima and Flor. And Plan and plenty. Okay. Uh, Flor and Marvin. Invite, invited. Okay, invite, invited. Uh -huh. Algunos que dicen invited. 
hay algunos que sí, así lo, igual que want, wanted, hay algunos casos, yo los he escuchado así en el inglés eh, nativo, es wanted, pero wanted, dice I wanted to, it's part of the native English, ok, uh, thank you, we go now with who else, Marvin and Elia. Translate, translate it. Perfect. And Elia and then Brenda. Need, needy. Needed. Mm -hmm. Needy. Good. Yes, thank you. Okay, Elia and Julissa. Okay, if Elia is not available, let's go with Julissa and then Kevin. Fast, fasted. Okay, who's next? ¿Quién va? Julissa, creo. And then Kevin. Fast, fasted. Okay, oh. thank you. Okay. And let's listen to Mario and then Cesar. Um, wait, wait. Thank you. Okay, Cesar and Fernando. Yeah, correct y correct it. Mm -hmm. eh, ok, Fernando en Marvin. No, Marvin ya pasó. Ok, Fernando. Invite and invited. Perfect. Invited o invited. Es como les digo, el nativo, that's it. Ese es el inglés que se puede aplicar. Perfect. Ok. Ya estamos con este, ¿verdad? Questions, preguntas, retóricas, preguntas existenciales. ¿Por qué vivimos? ¿Hay vida después de la muerte? Ok, no questions. Nice. Let's continue with the second case. Vamos con el siguiente caso. Case number two, it's a pronunciation. Y esta es una pronunciación que nos puede dar un poquito de dolor de cabeza. Initially. For instance, let me show you this. Ok, this pronunciation, it's with letter T. Esta pronunciación es la letra T. Personally, I consider it is like kind of tricky. Es un poco tramposita. ¿Dónde or when are we going to apply this? ¿Cuándo vamos a aplicar esta pronunciación de la letra T? When the verbs ends, cuando los verbos terminen en K, S, X, P, H. ¿Ok? Cuando decimos SS, es igual que la letra S. SH es como decir H, ¿ok? And so, in this case, um, let me show you something. Tenemos la palabra, el verbo park. Oigan bien, park. Pero en pasado se dice park. Park. Entonces, ese es el sonido de la T, no me van a decir parte, ni parte, ¿verdad? Entonces, parte. ah, parte, ok, lo hago eh, un poco exagerado parte. para que se escuche, ¿verdad? No porque no, no van a decir, ok, um, I, I park yesterday, no, ¿verdad? La gente dice, I park yesterday, entonces la T casi es hasta un poco, ¿qué? Un poco invisible a veces al escucharla, vamos con la siguiente. Ese es más fácil. Close, 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 miss, close. Mm -hmm. así es, miss, 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 miss. Mm -hmm. ese es más fácil porque como el miss, sonido de la miss. es más suave, ¿Ve? miss, miss, en cambio cuando tenemos la K sí cuesta más porque la K es, es un sonido más eh, chocante, se detiene. Eh, más, digamos así, de, de golpe. Por ejemplo, toc, ¿verdad? Toc, sería aquí, y aquí es toc, toc. Y tenemos aquí cook, aquí es cook. Ok. Seguimos con nosotros. Relax, relax. Eso también es algo sencillo, relax. Tenemos cash, cash, wash. Wash, dance, dance, ok, watch, watch, ok, questions about this, 
Creo que tenemos un par de preguntas con este. Eh, este es el sonido que, que sí, hasta cierto punto, eh, es un poco tricky, ¿verdad? Entonces, si gusta, podemos comenzar los que terminen en ese para sonar la tema fácil. Ok, kiss, ¿verdad? Pass, crossed. En cambio, los que terminan con K, K, pues cuesta un poquito más. Bake, like. Miren este verbo que ustedes utilizan bastante, ¿verdad? Like, otra vez. Teacher, a mí me pasa que en mi mente yo lo tengo con T, pero la gente no me percibe la... Sí, comprendo eso. Ajá. Ajá. Eh, yo lo sé, en, en nuestra mente pasan muchas cosas. Créanme que pasan muchas cosas. Ok, sí. eh, lo que sí debemos de tener como marcado es eso, ¿verdad? I worked yesterday. Oigan, I worked yesterday. Entonces, de hecho, en el inglés americano, así nativo, a veces ni se escucha I worked yesterday. Entonces, lo que te marca el pasado es yesterday, que es trabajé ayer. I worked yesterday. Eh, 11 hours, I'm really tired, bla, bla. Okay. O sea que a veces el contexto es el que nos ayuda a entender qué es pasado. Eso, eso en definitiva claro. nos ayuda. Because when people uh, are speaking, they, they eh, join words. Ellos unen palabras como nosotros, ¿verdad? Eh, en español unimos palabras, ¿verdad? And so that the same happens in English. Okay. So let's try to do this. Eh, vamos a ver, Carly está animada con su T, porque dice que le cuesta esa letra T. Ok, Carly, what about you start in the Mario? Ay, okay. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Walk and walked. Yes, very nice. Walk, right? Solo que es cuesta hacerlo más. Sado, más corto, work. Mm -hmm. Sí, okay. sí, I know, but work. sounds good, sounds good, Carly. Nice. Okay, Mario, and we go with Flor. Dance, dance. Good one. Okay, Flor and Juan. Close, closed. Good one, Juan and Cesar. Okay, pick up, pick up. Yes, that's a difficult. Good. Okay, says Cesar, Laura. Bake, bake. Good, Laura and Marvin. Good. Marvin and Noe. Hey. Okay. Um, bike. Bike. Okay, good. Noe and Janet. Walk. Walk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sin la L. Walk. Mm -hmm. Como China ah, walk. Walk. Mm -hmm. ah, walk. Perfect. Thank you. Janet and Gisela. As. Ask. Mm -hmm. Ask. Okay, Gisela, Fatima. Uh, check, check. Okay, Fatima and Elia. Look, look. Thank you, Elia and Elisa. Okay, Elia, what about you? Okay, let's move with uh, Julissa and then Fernando. Okay, Julie. Miss, Miss. miss. Okay, Miss. Mm -hmm, thank you. Uh, Fernando and Douglas. Type you. and type. Okay, uh, Douglas and Rosa. Talk, talk. Okay, very nice. Rosa. Close, close. Okay, thank you. Questions about this? Estamos hablando del pasado o simple o pasado participio de los verbos regulares, los que llevan ed. O sea, no solo porque llevan ed ya es la gloria. They are really easy. Son super fáciles. Tiene su cierto. They have a, a certain level of uh, uh, complex complexity. Thank you. Y el último caso, este caso es más fácil. Creo que el ID es el más fácil, de hecho. But um, the last case. Sorry. The last case is this. 
el sonido de la D. Y ese también es un poco silencioso. Sonido de la D. Cuando este creo que es el más común, porque hay bastantes verbos que terminan en estas letras, que terminan en L, en la letra Y, que terminan en N, en la E, eh, W, G, M. Ok, so in this case, uh, call, cold, casi como decir cold play, ok, cold, como la canción de Stevie Wonder, I just called to say I love you. I just called. Uh, we have plan N. Y la otra es plan. Ok. Plan, plan. Answer, answer. Hay una pausa. Answer. Porque la N es de vibración. Plan. Y también answer. Pero aquí decimos plan, answer. Ok. Otra vez N que tiene cierta vibración. Rain. Oigan, rain. Y lo otro es rain. Ok. Prepare. Prepared. Ok. Follow. Followed. Se dan cuenta que there is a, a pause. Hay una pequeña pausa. Ok. Arrive. Hay una vibración. Arrive. Y lo otro es arrived. Ok. Memorize. Memorize. Ok. Study. Y la otra es study. Stay. Stayed. Travel, traveled. Entonces, eh, well, then if you notice, there's not a, a relaxing, a relaxing pronunciation, but there is a cut. Hay un corte. Okay. Clean. Oigan, clean. Cleaned. Okay. Por ejemplo, van aquí. Clean. Y lo tres. Cleaned. That's it. Iron. Iron. Sign. Sign. Okay. We're going to have the last practice with this. And we're going to start in this case with uh, Marvin and then Douglas. Okay, Marvin. Can you please select one of these verbs and pronounce it? Present and past, please. Field. Field. Thank you. Douglas and Cesar. Call. Cold. Nice. Wonderful. Cesar and Juan. Study. Study. Mm -hmm. Study. 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 Thank you. Juan and Janet. Follow. Follow. Good one. Janet and Flor. Um, clean. Killed. Okay. Kill. Killed. Um, Flor and Noé. Enjoy. Enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. De, enjoy. enjoy. Good. Thank you. Noé and Mario. Born. Born. Okay. Mario and Fatima. Love. Loved. Good. Eh, Fatima and Jose. Cancel. Cancel. Thank you. Eh, Jose and Carly. Thank you. Uh, sería Ray. Eh, rain, mm. ah, clean, no. o oh, rain, rain, Lluvia. ah, rain, rain, thank you, Gisela, and then we go with Laura, born, born, mm, good one, okay, Laura and Julissa, love, love it, mm -hmm. love, sin la e, love, mm -hmm. okay, yes, that's it. Ok, questions about this, ya que vimos los tres casos, los tres casos son, como repito, voy a enviar esta imagen después, oigan, porque si le toman captura va a estar, creo que, pixeleada. Eh, tenemos prácticamente, practically, or basically, we have three pronunciations. Y de, la letra T, que es, ¿verdad? Que es la. Y la otra que es la D, ¿verdad? Okay. So, based on this, basándonos en esto. Let's try something. 
Let me see. Teacher, ¿por qué no está enseñando esto? Because we're going to apply to this. Okay. Here we have uh, regular verbs. Quiere decir que los vamos a los vamos a pronunciar con T, con ID o con la letra D. Ok. So remember, no vamos a decir I walk it, ¿verdad? No podemos decir eso, ¿verdad? No podemos decir eh, I like it. Mm, ok, we have to do it in the correct way. Pero si quieren, vamos a hacer algo. Antes de hacer esto, mejor les voy a enviar la imagen para que tengamos más claridad. Ok. Pero para esto voy a necesitar un poco de tiempo porque se me queda como que un poco corto esta máquina. Ok, we're going to continue with this conversation and then we go back with the uh, worksheet. Después vamos a la hoja de trabajo. Vamos primero con esta conversation. Ok, so. Uh, we have some questions. Do you often attend seminars? Ah, ya, ya contestamos eso. Yes, so some of you uh, have some seminars. Once a month, uh, twice a month, or two times or twice a year. So in this case, tenemos Rick. Rick and Morty. Okay. Rick says, my name is Rick. Nice to meet you. Jack Frost dice, Nice to meet you too. I am Jack. I work for Inex Inc. What does Inex Inc. do, Jack? We manufacture cardboard boxes for packaging companies. Oh, I see. Does Inex have any branches? Yes, it does. We have three manufacturing branches in the country. And where are the headquarters? They are in Panama. Okay. Let's check this. Let me see. Manufacture, manufacture, uh, packaging, packaging, branches, creo que está fácil, branches, headquarters. Ok, el cuarto de dólar, la que nosotros le llamamos hora, es quarter. But we as Salvadorian are very creative people. So we invent names. Inventamos nombres los salvadoreños. Y no le decimos quarter, sino que le decimos hermosamente cora. Okay. So the correct pronunciation is quarter. Headquarter. Okay. Let's listen. Jose, can you help me by reading? What is a headquarter? ¿Qué significa eso? No quarter. Headquarter. Mm -hmm. Jose, the place. Uh, the play, places. No aquí, te lo, aquí te lo acabo de mostrar. Please read it. Um, quarter indicó que es el cuarto. De, no, 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 de, José. Cuarto, perdón, perdón, lee, perdón. lee acá. Por eso ah, te perdón. Sí, sí, disculpe. Ok, uh, go. Where the place there a e company or organization has its main office. Offices, okay. The Offices. place. The place. Sí, el lugar o la, eh, eh, donde están las oficinas principales, las oficinas centrales. Eso es headquarter. Eh, headquarters se eh, traduciría prácticamente como como cuartel principal donde es el actual sede mm, podría ser podría ser uh -huh. pero la sede principal the main donde está la mera mata okay so here we have branch Gisela can you help me please by reading what is branch qué significa branch I don't know <laughs> no what? please read it léemelo acá <laughs> Okay. okay. Branch, a uh, shop or office representing a large company or organization in a particular area. Area. Mm -hmm. area. Yeah, that's a branch. 
Branch literally means rama. Ok, cuando decimos branch, literalmente significa rama, pero en este caso no vamos a decirle rama, sino que le vamos a decir que es una tienda o a, puede ser oficina, eh, que representa una gran compañía. Ok, quiere decir que son como sucursales. Ok, so headquarters, oficinas centrales, and branch, sucursales. Ok, so that's why here we have. Um, mi nombre es Rick, gusto conocerte, gusto conocerte también, soy Jack, trabajo para Inex. Eh, ¿Qué hace Inex, Jack? Nosotros este, fabricamos cajas de cartoncillo para las compañías empacadoras. Mm, ya veo. ¿Tiene Inex algunas sucursales? Sí, le dice. Tenemos tres eh, sucursales de manufactura en el país y dónde están las oficinas centrales están en Panamá ok so in the case if you work for a big company maybe you can work in a branch or you can work in the headquarter o ustedes trabajan en unas que unas sedes verdad eh, en unas sí, sucursales o trabajan en la principal Okay, for example, we can have a lot of, maybe some offices of tourism, algunas oficinas de turismo. We have some branches in Salvador, but there is one that is like the principal or the main, la principal. Okay, entonces vamos a hacer algo. We're going to do something para hacerlo un poquito más creativo. Esto. Vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Just give me a second. Ok, lo que está subrayado pueden cambiarlo. Ok, ejemplo, está Gisela y se va con Juan. Entonces, Rick es Juan y Jack es Gisela. Entonces, le dice, my name is Juan. Nice to meet you. Nice to, nice to meet you, Juan. I work for Simán. Y le pregunta Juan, what does Simán do? Gisela. Y le dice Gisela, we, en lugar de manufacture card boxes, we eh, sell eh, clothes, perfumes, shoes, bla, bla, bla. Oh, I see. Does Simán have any branches? Yes, it does. Y Ahí, pues, ustedes pueden cambiarle con su información personal, ¿ok? We can use our, the personal information or the information of every company. So, this conversation can be changed, puede ser cambiado. Los nombres de Ricky y Jack los vamos a cambiar también, ¿ok? So, it is not for you to be a robot just uh, repeating the, the same dialogue, but also changing it. Vamos a cambiarlo para que no se vea así como que, pues, eh, es el... Es el mismo, ¿verdad? Uh, thank you. Ya tenemos a uh, Vladi Blanco que nos envió las tres. Eh, ahí tenemos, ¿verdad? Ah, pues se ve bastante bien. Pero vamos a hacer esto primero, luego vamos a los verbos eh, regulares. Here we have. Me podrían enviar esta, si gusta. Pueden hacerlo así o me envían esta captura. Porque en esta captura ya está subrayado lo que van a cambiar o simplemente ustedes lo, lo cambian. Ok. We're going to practice like five or six minutes. Aquí sí nos vamos a llevar unos seis, siete minutos. Cinco, seis, siete minutos para cambiarlo. Ok. Vamos a cambiar el nombre. We're going to change the name of the company and also the description of the activity that this, what this company uh, does. Differently. Lo que hace esta compañía de manera diferente. Thank you very much. Dan. Ok. Just give me a second. Lo voy a ubicar. Para mientras, dale una revisada a la conversación. 
¿verdad? Para que avancen en la pronunciación, no vayan a estar, porque algunos de ustedes están como muy relax y a la hora de, de practicar empiezan a ver la conversación y se les olvidó cómo se practica y todo eso. Ok, recuerdan, manufacture. Okay, see you in a moment. es la solicitud, igual que Fátima, eh, Kevin. Thank you. En el caso de Kevin, es necesario que ingreses. Thank you.
Okay. Let's say. Okay. Listen, Let's say you are ready. Okay. What if we start this with Noé? Who is your partner? Uh, with Mauricio. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Okay, please. Show time. My name is Mauricio. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Noé. I work I work for Premium Center. But does Premium Center in do Noé? Uh, we sell clothing, choose another product. Oh, I see a uh, Das Premium Center. Uh, have have money, money branch branch mm -hmm. and chef. Yes, it does. We have thirty salad shops in the country, and there are the headquarters. Como? Headquarters. Headquarters. They are in El Salvador. Okay. Headquarters. Así como se ve aquí. Headquarters. Ah. Bien raro, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. eh, recuerden sí. como head de cabeza. Headquarters. Okay. okay. Thank you. Uh, let's listen to Carly. Very good conversation, my friends. Nice, nice. Are you, are you ready for the action? Maybe not, but it doesn't matter. Well, maybe, yes. <laughs> there's no know. choice. <laughs> yes, there's no choice. Let's do it. Janet. Janet. Mm -hmm. Hola. Ah, bye. Empiezo yo. Sí. My name is Daniela. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I, I am Janet. I work for Yongwa. What does Yongwa do, Janet? We make jacket, pants, and t-shirt for the North Face. Oh, I see. Does your one have many branches? Yes, I does. There are only one manufacturing branch in the country, but there are some branches in other countries. And where are the headquarters? They are in Korea. Okay, thank you. Well done. Ya ven que si se puede. Si sale del corazón, se puede. Juancito, <laughs> you go. Está hablando Me regala ahí, Juancito. Okay. Teacher, voy a compartir con Flor. Perfect. Go ahead. Ya va al punto artístico de la noche. Excelente. Okay. <laughs> You can do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. Florcita, se le hace llamado. Primer llamado. Okay. Ah, yeah, estoy aquí lista. Are you ready? Listo, ready. Perfect. My name Wonderful. is. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Flor. I'm Flor. I work for work for City Hall. What does City Hall do, Flor? We provide service public. How many districts do they have? We have one district. Yes. Where they are location? We are located in the city center. Perfect. Solo un detalle. Okay. En, la, en la última parte, yes. Juan, yes. Where are their locations? Solo eso. Where are their locations? Then you did a very nice Where job. Where are they? They are. Sin, ah, quita la Y, no. T-H-E-I-R. T-H-E-I-R. I-I-R. R, they are. ¿Dónde está? Where are they? Okay. Yes, nice. And good because you talk about uh, locations, you talk about districts, not branches. Que se aplica districts. Very good. Okay. Districts. Ya veo que hicieron una Thank tarea. You. Bien, bien portado, claro. muchachos. <laughs> okay. 
and we're going to have uh, one more. And uh, what if we listen this case to Mario? Mario? Hello, teacher. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay, uh, who I is Laura. Your... Laura? Yes. Please. Laura no está. Okay. Ah, yes. <laughs> Como la canción. Okay. Uh, my name is Laura. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Mario. I work for Almacenes Bomba. Um, what does Almacenes Bomba, Mario? We sell clothes, shoes, bags, and other products. Oh, I see. Does Almacenes Bomba have many branches? Yes, it does. We have 25 branches in the country. And where are they headquarters? They are in El Salvador. Okay. Perfect. Good one. Very good. Uh, you applied this conversation to uh, your real information. Thank you. Unfortunately, we can um, we can read all the conversations. No podemos leerlas todas, verdad? But we got to this part. Famous phrases. Okay, tenemos speaking activity. Vamos a hacerlo. Eh, solo nos quedan qué? 32 minutos, verdad? Ya nos queda poco. Okay. So uh, let's listen to the famous phrases, las frases más famosas que ustedes tienen por acá. Vamos a comenzar con. We're going to start with. What if we start with Marvin? And then Carla. Okay, Marvin. Are you ready with your famous phrase? Yeah. Okay, please go. Um, if you want to do something incredible tomorrow, learn today. Okay, who, who said that? Uh, the name of the person who said that? If you want to do something incredible, ¿quién lo dijo? Oh, lo dijo Marvin, quizás. Marvin García. Okay, let's go with Carly. Okay. All then of Julissa. this can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. Pursue them. Who said that? Them. ¿Quién dijo eso? Walt Disney. Ah, well, yo pensé que Carla Molina iba a decir, but okay. Ah, but no. Walt Disney said that. Thank you, Carly. Y, y tengo otro. Vaya, viene recargada esta mujer. Jim Carrey. Yes. Okay, let's listen. Behind every great man is a woman rolling her eyes. Ah, okay. <laughs> rolling her eyes, como haciéndole con bush. Así ve. Okay. <laughs> yes. Mal, mal esta Carly. Okay, Julissa and Juan. Okay. Every day of our lives, we make deposit in our children memory banks. Definitely, yes. Who said that? Uh, ahorita le digo. Charles Swindle. Okay. Sounds really, really profound and deep. So no, profound. Thank you. Juan, and then we go with Flor. Okay, teacher. No find the personality specific. Oh, no problem. Uh, okay. The number one, no hard feeling. No hard feeling. Sin okay. resentimientos. Okay, Así. Suena, suena como una canción. Okay. okay. Sin resentimientos. <laughs> no, no hard feelings. Sin resentimientos. Yeah. Peace and uh, love. Number two, better late than never. Better late than never. Por mucho tiempo Más esa fue vale mi frase. Tarde que nunca, dice. Yes. So. Okay. Eh, y la última, sí. Vaya, recargado. Que bueno, casi sí. que, y que casi que todo el mundo lo dice es good luck. Buena good luck. Suerte. Ok, thank you. Interesting. Okay. Three phrases for us. Flor, and then we go with Fernando. Every day we know more and understand less. Albert Einstein. Every day we learn more 
and we understand less. Mm -hmm. Very interesting, right? Very rhetoric. Thank you, Flor. And Fernando and Fatima. Okay, if Fernando is not ready, let's go with Fatima and then Elia. Okay, maybe. Yes. Okay, maybe. Where there is love, there is life. Gandhi. 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 Yeah. Okay, where there is love, okay. where there, there is, is life. Very, very profound words. Thank you. Elia and Douglas. Um, happiness is highness good. Aristoteles. Mm -hmm. Very one of the best uh, intellectuals in the world. Thank you. Douglas and Cesar. Okay, maybe Douglas is not ready. Let's listen with Cesar and Jose. Uh, don't count the days. Make the days count. Muhammad Ali. Okay, Muhammad Ali. Good. The boxer, a great fighter. And Jose and then Gisela. Okay. Uh, if you can play in sampling, simple. You don't uh, understand it well, uh, you know it. Okay. Uh, Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Good. Thank you. Y and Giselle. También... Ah, okay. Viene recargada Pero... esta gente. Good. <laughs> Thank Our you. children uh, go now. He tried to debate climate uh, change. There, there is be bus dealing with its effects. Mm -hmm. With its effects. Eso lo dijo eh, Barack Obama. Okay, a very, a very, uh, what, like very interesting, profound, amazing, because it talks about the children. How can we make different? How can we, how we can change the world? Thank you. Gisela. Um, it is not the eye that sees, but what we see from the eye, Platon. Ah, Platon. Okay. Uh, I guess it was Greek. Creo que fue griego, right? Okay, thank you, Gisela. Trae otra porque veo que todo, ahí vienen bien recargados. Only one. Only one. Only one, thank you. Okay. Y Let's eso que move. no le enseñé mi teléfono, que tenía un montón. Vaya, pero mensajes, Carly. Ok. Tengan cuidado cuando comparten pantalla, les dije. Be careful. Queremos accidentes. We don't want accidents. Ok. Ya vamos a ver. Now, bien, ya les envié. I, if you can check the WhatsApp group, you are going to notice that you have the image. And also, thank you. I want to say thank you to Vladimir that he already sent uh, the, the picture, but I send you the complete picture uh, in which you can find the three types of pronunciation uh, with for regular verbs. ¿Verdad? La pronunciación con ID, la pronunciación con T y la pronunciación con D. Así que vamos a fijarnos si la palabra termina con K, ah, entonces la pronunciación con ED va a ser con ¿Verdad? Si, si termina en D, entonces va a ser con ID y así. E igual. Quiero que se fijen en la última palabra, porque le vamos a agregar ED y va a depender la pronunciación. ¿Ok? Volunteers for this. Volunteers. Voluntarios. We have 10 sentences. Tenemos 10 oraciones. Carly, what number? Number three. Number three, they... They arrive later for the party. Yes, arrive. Good one. Okay. Llegaron tarde a la fiesta. Eh, Gisela, right? One. One. I walked to one last week. Perfect. Sounds really good. I walked. Mm -hmm. I walked. 
uh, last week. Thank you. And who else? Otras almas puras e inocentes. José. Okay, José. Uh, number uh, nine. Nine. Sería de used my mm -hmm. new pen. New pen. Aquí sería de used. Pen. Just, porque aunque tiene, aunque tiene E, ¿verdad? Pero como termina con S, ¿verdad? Just, my yes. new pen. Hey, usaron mi nuevo lapicero. Thank you. Okay, what if we listen to Mario now? And then we go with the... And then vamos con Juancito, el cantante. Ah, cabalito, le, leí la mente. Este hombre. Okay, Mario. Ya ven, ya ven. Okay, teacher. <laughs> Number six. Okay, let's go. Helen. Wait for an hour. Okay. Aquí sería waited mm -hmm. for an hour. O también waited es, como les digo, el inglés nativo es como waited. Es waited, pero yo lo he escuchado como waited, especially in songs, a lot of songs. Okay, Juan, and after Juan, we're going to have... The number 10. Kevin. 10. The teacher. The teacher helped. The student. Good. After class. After class. Yes. Very nice. Thank you. What if we go okay. with Kevin and then Cesar? Okay. If we don't have Kevin, uh, let's listen to Cesar and then Julissa. Okay. No Cesar. Maybe Julissa and then Flo. Number eight. Number eight. Bob needed mm -hmm. that book yesterday. Thank you. Needed the book yesterday. Okay, we go with Flor, and after Flor, we're going to listen to Janet. Seven. Seven. You. You liked. You liked mm -hmm. the movie I did. Mm -hmm. You like the movie? I didn't. ¿Te gustó la película? A mí no. Uh, we go with Janet, and after Janet, we're going to have yeah. Noé. He sent computers. What number? What number? Two. Two, okay. Two. Studies. Ah, Computer. studied. Computers for five years. Okay, computers. Thank you. Computer. Yes. yes, Noé, and after Noé, we go with Fernando. Number five. Okay, five. It ended at 6 p.m. Perfect, ended at 6 p.m. Okay, uh, Fernando, can you help us with number four? Okay, if Fernando... We married in a chart. Perfect. Married in a church. Okay, good one. Okay. They dice nos casamos en una iglesia. Qué bonito. Okay, so let's see. Church. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Let's go to the listening part. In this case, it's a conversation. Okay, it is not, uh, yes, I guess it's a conversation. Just give me a couple of seconds. Um, I'm going to be ready in a moment. Okay. So listen and try to identify words or phrases or ideas. 
Hi Mario, can you help me prepare some things for the next month? Okay, sure. What can I help you with? I need to visit the customer in Germany. It's important. What can I do to help? Can you send an email to the customer? Ask them when I can visit them next week. Please do this first. It's a priority and very urgent. Right. I'll do it today. Thanks. This next tax is also important. Can you invite everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first, you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And finally, can you write a short report about our new project? I have to give a presentation to our managers. Next month, please do it when you have time. Sometime in the next two or three weeks, it's not too urgent. Sure, no problem. I can do it this week. There's no hurry. Take your time. Oh, okay. So in this case, we're going to listen again. Escuchémoslo una vez más. Hi, Mario. Can you help me prepare some things for the next month? Okay, sure. What can I help you with? I need to visit the customer in Germany. It's important. What can I do to help? Can you send an email to the customer? Ask them when I can visit them next week. Please do this first. It's a priority and very urgent. Right. I'll do it today. Thanks. This next tax is also important. Can you invite everyone to the next team meeting? Yes, I will. But first, you need to book a meeting room. After that, please send everyone an email about it. Yes, of course. And finally, can you write a short report about our new project? I have to give a presentation to our managers. Next month, please do it when you have time. Sometime in the next two or three weeks, it's not too urgent. Sure, no problem. I can do it this week. There's no hurry. Take your time. Okay, let's uh, listen to some phrases. Words, uh, Jose Mauricio, did you listen something? Okay, a uh, customer next mm -hmm. week. Yes, uh, at will. Yes, as customer. Uh, report. Sometime is sure, no problem. Okay, good. A lot of words. Sounds really nice. What if we have now Gisela and then Odali? Uh, maybe run about you finally report presentation manager week. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, let's listen to Odalis and then we go with Laura. Can you help me? Next important meeting, meeting finality report manager, no problem. Thank you. Nice. Uh, Lau, Laura y vamos con Juan. Help me problem visit send customer next weekend. Today important everyone's manager report of course new project sometime sure. Thank you. A lot of words, Laura. Juan, and then we go with Janet. Okay. Hi, Mario. Can you help me to will animal fears uh, priority everyone next team meeting book a room new project sometime in the Next, the uh, urgency, thank you time. Mm -hmm. A lot of words, Juan. A lot of words. Thank you. <laughs> Very good job. Okay. And Janet and then Cesar. And sometime next week, the manager. Mm -hmm. Thank you. What about you, Cesar? Did you identify some? Words or phrases? Hi, Mario. Can you help me? Uh, sometimes next week, 
I doing today? Customer, help, a priority, important, book, listen, of course, Monday, three weeks, take your time, sure, no problem, manager, new project, meeting room, eating meeting. Thank you, Cesar. A lot of words. You did your homework. Very nice. Now, uh, here you can see the this conversation. It's a conversation between Susan and Mario. And uh, talking about, can you help me asking for a favor? So maybe the words that can be underlined. Yes, customer. Mm -hmm. I guess you know all these words. Creo que conocen todas las palabras. There's no new word. Okay, maybe the, the last one, there's no hurry. No hay apuro, ¿verdad? No hay así, digamos, preocupación. Cuando le dicen a alguien, hurry up, apresúrate. So, there's no hurry, no hay como un apuro, okay? Take your time, toma tu tiempo. Okay. A very good job, you uh, wrote a little words. I like that. And for 10 minutes, 14 minutes, y terminamos. So, for this, uh, we're going to listen the last uh, famous phrases, the últimas frases que tenemos acá. What if we have Mirna, Janet, and then Odalis? Ready with your famous phrases? The worst can time the bad gas the the eye is first as to the both the good guides. Okay, thank you very much. Then we have Modalis and Kevin. Teacher, pero quiero presentar la pantalla. Okay. No problem. Go ahead. Después va Juancito, que no sé qué quiero presentar. Okay. Nothing is impossible. The world itself says I am possible. Oh, very. Audrey Hepburn. I don't know her, but it sounds really inspiring. Es muy inspirador. Ya me, ya me levantaste el ánimo ahorita, mira. Por eso la presenté, para que la capture. Ya que estoy preocupado con las deudas. Okay. okay. Le damos un crédito. Yo realmente lo que estaba haciendo era aplaudiéndole a ah, aplaudir, Audalis. Porque... Es que como sale la mano y de este, Juancito. Sí, no, así se mire. Así, así, la manita. Aplaudiendo. Ah, la manita, porque la manita. Sí, Odalis es un tanto calladita, pero sí me llega que participe. Y de esa forma mucho mejor. Ok, Juan Cristo. Ok. Bien, Odalis dice que es calladita. Bueno. Eh, las personas calladas son las que esconden más, Odali. Así que esperamos que no puedas esconder mucho. Mentira, Fátima Auxilio. Fátima Auxilio, ayuda. Ayuda. Ok. Thank you. We go now with Kevin. And then Rosa. Okay, Kevin is not ready. Uh, Rosa, I don't know if she is there. Porque estaba hace un momento. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, ready to share or, or to, to, to say your phrase, please? Ajá, uh -huh, la frase famosa. Okay. No te escuchamos, te escuchamos lejos. O yo te escucho lejos, como mi conciencia. Okay, okay. Be brave, take risk, nothing can substitute experience. Mm. Paulo Coelho. Paulo Coelho. He has a lot of books, a lot of inspiring books. Yes, it's Brazilian, right? Thank you. We go with Mario. And then Adriana. Hello, teacher. Okay. Uh, do you have your famous phrase? Okay. 
A man who won't die for something is not fit to live. <laughs> okay. Martin Luther King. Martin Luther King. Okay, yes. A uh, great leader. Yes, thank you. No, Adriana and Noe. Yes, Let's see if Adriana is here. Okay. Uh, in case no, we go with Noe. Okay. If you want to change the world, change you, yourself. Definitely. I, uh, I strongly agree. Estoy totalmente de acuerdo. If you want to change the world, you have to change yourself first. Okay, Alexandra, I don't know if you are uh, finally at home. Buenas noches. Uh, sería what the new day, como no string, and new uh, pensamiento, como se dice, teacher? Ah, thought. Se dice idea yeah. o se dice thought. Mm -hmm. Okay, entonces sería what the new day, como new string, and a uh, new Tom. Thought, ok, thank you. Thought es el pasado de think. Think es pensar. Thought es pensaba, mm. pero también es pensamiento. Ok. And who else? ¿Quién se me queda? Well, I guess most of you talk, ya participaron. Uh, the last activity that we're going to do tonight is this. Oh, my oh. case. Teacher. Fernando, yes. Ok, sí, yes, te llamé, okay. pero creo que el internet, the internet was not stable. Ok, my friend, go. Ok, yes, ah, okay. We, we only have one life, and that is your job to fight your happiness, and it's your responsibility to fight for your happiness, and nobody and nothing will do that for you. Ok, very, very wonderful words. Who said that? In a movie, in a film. Is it is it pursuit of happiness? Not right. Yeah. No, no. Okay, but I have heard that phrase. He escuchado esa, 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 ese pensamiento, that thought. Very nice. So we are responsible to find our, our happiness because it's our life and you live only once. Thank you, Fernando. Very interesting words. Okay, here we have this. Eh, antes de esto, before we go to this, tenemos lo de la canción antes que se me vaya. Okay, and si no me equivoco, Fátima. Hello, teacher. No. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Hoy sí la va a cantar. Yo dije, ya se... Fátima, ven. Ay, que no, Fátima no. me la hizo, me la hizo ayer. Ajá. Me no, hizo la teacher. mexicana, me hizo no. la mexicana. Mm. No, teacher. Caí, caí en engaños. Ok. Are you ready to ¿Puedo presentar? Please. En la parte de abajo, ya tienes abierta la imagen, ¿verdad? En segundo plano, en la computadora sí. o en el celular. Así que en la parte de abajo de Zoom dice compartir pantalla, un botón verde. Le das ahí, seleccionas la sí. imagen. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, ya va a comenzar la función de compartir. Thank you. Can you read? Yeah. Yes, can you read, it, please? Okay. Okay. How can we not talk about family when families are that we got? Everything I went through. You were starting there by my seat. And now you go be with me for the last ride. Mm -hmm. Actually, I don't have an idea. Ten cuidado con lo que compartís. No voy a hacer la pestañita. No, Tisho, no tengo nada abierto. Ok, no voy a hacer un par de memes ahí. Okay. Tampoco. 
<risa> Bien rápido. Hola, por Ah, oh, videos educativos. Bien rápido nos quitó la, la imagen, Fátima. Solo nos pica. No, ahí está. Cabo, nos dejó. Estábamos agarrando señal. En, yes, en estamos contexto. agarrando señal, Carmen. Oh. That's correct. That's correct. Ahí está nuevamente, Tisha. No. <risa> eh, <risa> Fátima. Does anybody know the name of the song? Artist, but because I don't. Está no. fácil, teacher. Está fácil. Está fácil. Sí. Okay, examen de, <laughs> de, examen de química. Is band or? It's a band or a singer. A singer. A singer. A singer. singer. A man or a woman. A singer. A man. Brian Adams. No. Pavarotti, I don't know. <laughs> um, who else? Who else? Que la cante ticheria, si tal vez. Este es Juan Cito, eh, Juan Cito, toda la clase. Por, por no haberla cantado ayer. Ajá, sí, casi. Ah, sí, eso sí, eso sí. Y por quitarla rápido. Bueno, me tocaba. A ver, Fátima, who is the singer? Because I don't know. I don't have an idea. Hoy sí perdimos, Pich. Sí, per perdió el mundo. <risa> perdió el cine. Ok, eh, Fátima. Verde, rápido y furioso, Pich. De rápido y furioso, Pich. Ah. I'm sorry, Wiz Khalifa. I think. No. No, Fatima. No. ¿Puedo decir la canción? Yes, yeah. yes, please. See you again. See you again. When you ah, sí, okay. Yo pensé que tú eres el cantante. Ok. So, Pero si era uh, Wiscalifa o no. Okay. ok, let's say yes. Thank you, Fatima. Thank you. Mario, yo veo que anda. Okay. Estaba cerca ahí. Ok, my friends, the time has passed by. Creo que esta clase se fue un poquito más rápido que las otras clases, ¿verdad? Pero es también porque ya, están, ya hemos agarrado más el hilo y ya ustedes ya eh, captaron más la metodología de trabajo que tengo. Eso me parece muy positivo. I, I feel it like very positive. You are participating more and more. Está participando más. Eh, your fluency is improving. Está mejorando su fluidez. And I like you to prepare always uh, the speaking activities that we have, the pronunciation practice with the conversations. And don't be afraid to participate. Don't tengan miedo de participar, ¿verdad? Tengan miedo al éxito. Let's do it. We have just um, 14 classes, 14 classes más. Voy a pasar rápido, okay? Very quickly. So I'm going to check the attendance list and tomorrow we're going to continue with the worksheet another work set and some other exercises that we didn't complete tonight. So, Abel de Nilsson, no, right? Because uh, he was absent. Alexandra Michel, hello. Okay. Brenda, no. Cesar. Present. Thank you. Douglas. Elia Janira. Present. Ok, Elia. Eh, Fátima. Present, Thank you, Fernando. I'm here. You are there. Eh, antes que nada, Fátima, tu, tuvimos la sesión ayer, ¿verdad, Fátima? Sí, sí, ya me acordé. Ya me acordé. Okay. Yeah, teacher. O sea que ahora tocaría con Elia. Elia, ¿sí me escuchas? Teacher, ayer fue con mi. Ayer, ayer tuve yo. Con Elia, ¿verdad? Bien, sí. no, no te anoté. Este, solo tengo una pregunta. Uh, mañana me toca a mí lo de la... De la sí, canción. Elia, mañana te okay. toca. Y el lunes le tocaría a Fernando. Ok. Ok, very nice. Eh, yeah, así que... Eh, tengo muy mala recepción de, de internet ahorita. Ya me mencionó. Sí, Alexandra, pero ya te anoto. Thank you. Gracias. You're welcome. Bien, Douglas parece que no está, ¿verdad? Así que este se queda unos minutos, Fernando. 
Okay, Fernando. Please. Yeah, yeah. Me. Thank you, my friend. Flor. Hello. Present teacher. Nice. Uh, Gisela. Uh, Jose Mauricio. Okay. Present. Uh, Juan and Julissa. Present teacher. Thank uh, Teacher, por, eh, Brenda, creo que tiene levantada la mano por ahí. Sí, ya lo anoté. Sí, okay. thank you, Juan. Ya lo anoté acá. Very nice. Eh, Julissa, Carla. Present, teacher. Thank you. Laura, Marvin. Present. Present, present. Ok. Eh, Mirna, Enodalis. Present, teacher. Ok, mm -hmm. nice. Thank you, Rosa and Kevin. Present. Okay, very nice. And then Liliana, I don't know if Liliana can. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Kevin. Mario and Noe. Present. Yeah. Thank you. Present. Uh, Adrian. Okay, my friends. See you tomorrow. Mañana viernesito, hoy jueves de amigos. So see you tomorrow, my friend. Okay, see you later. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Fernando, just give me a couple of seconds, okay? Okay, okay, don't worry. Okay, Fernando, I have noticed that you have a very good, a very good uh, English level, okay? So, yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, so you have... Have you ever participated in any or have you ever taken English courses, right? Or just by yourself? You have learned by yourself? Just by myself, yeah, and practice uh, every single day in my home. I practice my own skills in English, my pronunciation and intonation and my listening skill, especially because it's uh, very important. And also, I practice my English in us to watch some videos on YouTube. That's really useful, definitely. So you can yeah. see some series, watch some movies, and if you watch them in English, it's like the original language. So you can have a better sound if you notice a better uh, acting. The actors and yeah. actresses are better, so you can enjoy. I consider that you can enjoy completely. Okay, movies and series. But talking about jobs, uh, currently, are you working uh, in a company when you apply your English or you work in a company and you speak Spanish in your functions, in your responsibilities? Okay. Okay, without any further ado, uh, right now I am working at Calcer in Spanish account, but I would like to apply in another account and I listen in with my co-workers to speak in English with a customer. Okay, and have you ever applied for any yeah. English account? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But and there are some filters, yeah, but... maybe. Don't some filters that establish some limitations. Yeah. Maybe in I the feedback. Applied. Yeah, I was applied the four months ago. And my feedback was, uh, you have some problem with your listening. And I know I have some problems with my listening and also uh, my comprehension, but um, yeah. Yeah, we, we have to improve uh, all the time, right? Remember that uh, sometimes we have the, well, I have seen this, that the recruiters, that is the person in charge of hiring people. Uh, maybe they are like, um, they establish uh, some limitations. And sometimes it is like personal uh, answer that they have. 
is a personal filter that they establish. I mean, they take them personally. And that happens. Sometimes we apply and we have to learn more. We have to improve in any specific skill. But yes, I recommend you to practice a little bit in the feedback that they uh, yeah, show you. Because I consider that you are capable. You are really capable, Fernando. You should yeah, try yeah, again. I, know. I don't know when did you apply it. Say six months ago, four months ago. Yeah, maybe I will let you apply in other account, but um, I would like to apply the travel account. Yeah. Especially because right now I am the south of the account. Yeah, I sell ticket of the Avianca. But it's a good account. Yeah. I yes, know the different and, and airlines, different airport. Yeah. It's a really big Actually, contact. you have learned a lot because you are very familiarized with the programs, right? With the information. Yeah. Because you have yeah. learned a lot of information. Yeah, a lot of information, yeah. But I really like attendance different customer. Okay, and how much time are you have you worked in Avian? Uh, ten months. Yeah, ten months. I think so. Ten months. Okay, ten months. It's well a good time, but even if you have yeah, one year or more than one job. year. Ah, oh, really good. How old are you? I'm 20 years old. No, but that's good. And even you can escalate in that. And what about uh, the English accounts with Avianca? Have you applied in there? Yeah, uh, but this account is a Spanish account, the English account, and the Portuguese account. But uh, something like that, I would like to apply the first of all, the English account, and maybe I will let you study in the Portuguese and to apply the Portuguese and to attend a different customer in the three language. Yeah, this Definitely. is my goal for the, the last year. It's my goal the last year to attend a different customer in three languages. Yeah, oh. English, Spanish, and also Portuguese. Remember that if you learn more languages, it means that you're going to have jobs all the time. Maybe yeah, you yeah, can but, have a better account, definitely. Yeah, and of but, course you can. Uh, yeah, but in my case, I don't know, I have a commitment with myself and I would like to, to fix different problems of the customer. And I really like, I really like the account. And yeah, I have a commitment with myself and yeah, I need to change my mindset because I am the best. Always, I said I am the best. Okay, please. Kim will keep on doing. Fernando, I know that you're going to get it. Okay, my friend. Uh, unfortunately, the time has finished. Okay, so yeah. I don't consider that we can reinforce any topic because you have a very good English level. So just keep on practice and focus on the skills that you have to improve. Uh, since, uh, you, uh, you saw it in the feedback. Okay, my friend, I know that you're going to get, uh, you're going to reach out the objective that you have established. Thank you. Thank okay, my friend. Okay, so see you tomorrow, my friend. Have a good see night. Bye-bye.